Morning, chillins. <laughs> Man, look at this. Beautiful. Uh, Wednesday morning, December 23rd. Here in uh, state New York, even though it's really cold, uh, the sun coming off the snow, or reflecting off the snow, making it quite comfortable. It's not a Florida comfortable, but it's comfortable. You might have heard that joke about a rabbi gets hit by a car. <clears throat> car throws him 20 feet. People rush to his aid. My God, my God, my God. They wrap up a coat. They stick it under his head. Oh, my God, rabbi. Are you comfortable? He says, I make a nice living. <laughs> oh, I hope Facebook doesn't take me down for saying that. Well, I know a rabbi. I'll sue. That's called a double tag in comedy. <laughs> All this walking, I've lost so much weight. I'm going to keep on walking. I'm going to get back to my original birth weight. <laughs> Look at those mountains there. Pretty magnifique. Fantastical. Within the next 24 hours, I will be uh, with my family I, and loved ones. I hope you are too. Only place to be right now. This crazy year. I got a. I have this uh, little um, email I get on a daily basis. It's called Word Genius. It says um, it sends me a, a new word to learn every day. And today's word was deut, which means to assign a task or responsibility or to delegate authority to something or someone. I thought that was appropriate because uh, I am uh, acquiescing to the delegated authority within. I got up this morning and I felt compelled to read a lesson from A Course in Miracles, um, lesson 155. I will step back and let him lead the way. It basically goes on to say, there's a way of living in this world that is not of this world. To reference uh, John, to live in the world, the book of John. To live in the world, but not of the world. Your appearance doesn't change, but your forehead is quiet and your eyes are serene. And those that walk the earth like you will recognize you. And those who don't will recognize you also, but it will seem to them as if nothing has changed. And yet, everything's changed. The world as we knew it is, is gone. It's over. I never thought I'd say, that's okay. That's not just okay. That's pretty amazing. I'm not going to tell God how it's supposed to work. Would any of us have looked as hard this year inwardly if the pressure wasn't on? I know I wouldn't. Someone said to me once, it was Muji, if anybody knows who Muji is. He said, when you're curious, you learn. When you're desperate, you discover. Well, this has been a year of discovery. And as we come down to the wire of 2020, it, the pressure seems to be building. However, some of you might remember your eighth grade science. Coal under pressure becomes a diamond. And uh, each lump of coal that might have been in our stocking 
with all this pressure is going to is going to become a divine diamond a beautiful diamond i know it's forced me to look and to believe and to place my faith in what serves me and serves the greater good of all I can't say I never would have looked, but I never would have looked with this kind of focus. It's laser <laughs> focus. <laughs> Do I have a choice? I guess I could fall into despair, but for me, that's not a choice anymore. I've lived enough life to realize that, quoting Shakespeare, that way madness lies. I'm not going down that rabbit hole. I don't want to meet Alice in that wonderland. I'm going to step back and let him lead the way. Him is within my internal guidance, which I have um, used throughout my life, but never relied on to this degree wholly. W-H-O-L-L-Y, wholly relying on, I'm wholly relying on what I am intuiting when I occasionally bounce in to listen to what the media um, has, I can't even have to say, has to say, what the, the, the negativity and the lies and the deceit, it's as if they're swimming in a sewer of their own excrement and they don't even smell it. I, I, uh, I'm actually concerned for those people. I really think they're they're going to hurt themselves. They're, I mean, they're hurting themselves already, but in ways they can't, couldn't have imagined. So I have to be very um, fastidious in my choices and use my internal guidance system. Look at that hawk. Do you see it? Red-tailed hawk. Spiritual sign for um, uh, wisdom. And my internal guidance system has um, allowed me to weave my way through the avalanche, the waterfall, I can't even call it water, the sludge fall of deceit and lies and misdirection. Just to pick out whatever pertinent information I need, shut it off, right back in so that I can step back and let him lead the way. We walk to God together, you and I. Could any purpose in this world be more holy, be more great, be more worthy, especially now at this unique time in our history, this unique time in our humanity we step back and let him lead the way on nearing the eve of the birth of the Christ child I will step back and let him lead the way and allow through me let the Christ child be born once again into the world. Greatest blessing ever is that we can have each other to share the experience of this beautiful birthing. A new way to live in the midst of the chaos and the clamor of the world. We become the answer. How beautiful it was hiding within us all along. And God has shaken the world like a gigantic snow globe, pardon the pun, to make us, make us look and make us step back and let him lead the way. There really is no other choice when I see it like that. It's just the way. There is no choices between illusion, madness, chaos, and the peace of God. Those aren't choices. 
Those are just insane people asleep in an ugly dream, thinking they're making their way out. It's time to wake up from the dream. How do we do that? We step back and we let him lead the way. God bless every one of you. It is a beautiful privilege to be with you on our little blue marble at this time in our history and our humanity. Thank you. Merry Christmas. God bless you. And God bless America.